Hey what's going on guys, in this video we are going to see how to print the event numbers using continuous statement in C programming. Here what we are going to do is we are going to ask the user to enter the limit based on the limit it's going to print it out. For example if the user enter 20 it's going to uh, like it's, it's going to print out all the event number up to 20 okay. Now let's, so let's go ahead and see how to do that. First of all I'm going to introduce some integer type of variable integer and for the limit I put n and also for the looping I am putting i right here okay now first we have to give a prompt to the user to the enter the limit backslash n enter the limit enter the enter the limit and then to get the input from the user we have to put a scan of statement in this scan of statement the user is going to input the integer type of variable because the number whatever the value the user is going to enter is going to be integer type of variable and that's percentage d i'm going to store that one in n so i put i am ampersand n right here and the next thing is we are going to create a for loop for loop will run up to the limit according to the limit so the user is going to decide the limit based on the limits it's going to loop it that time for loop and we initialize this one with one i is equal to one and then we are going to set the condition the limit i is less than or equal to n then do we do the increment by one i plus plus now we are going to create if statement here in this if statement what we are going to here but here we are going to use the continue if the reminder is not equal to zero if it, if the reminder is not like when we divide the number by two and if the reminder is not equal to zero it means this is an odd number if it's an odd number we are going to enter this if statement okay i reminder is not equal to zero if the reminder is not equal to zero this is an odd number so we want to continue continue mean it's going to just the program is going to end right here and go back again okay that's why continue like if it's not an odd number we can straightly print the number out because if it's not an odd number it's it must be an even number so we give a printf statement and here we are going to print out the even number backslash n percentage d and then the number stored number is going to be i okay that's it now let's go ahead and run this one and see what we get Okay, let's run this one. Here it's asking enter the limit, let's say 20. It's going to print out after 20 all the even numbers. Okay, here you can see 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And you can choose any number you want. You can choose bigger number. Like uh, if you put 25, it's going to print up to 24. That's how it works. Okay, I hope you guys find this video helpful. And if you are trying to access these codes, it's in my blogger. I put the link of my blogger in the description so you can go ahead and access them. And also if you are trying to learn C or C++ programming, there are a bunch of videos in my playlist. I hope you guys watched that too and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.